Well, hello everyone, and welcome to what will soon be round three of Thursday Night Magic. The format again is Popper, and you'll notice that, yes, there we are, number one, rank, this is good. And here we are, we're against Nickname 7, both of us have won, have gone 4-0, winning all our games, and so we'll see how things are going to go. Uh, uh, this hand is fine. I will keep it. I don't know what he's playing. I saw a lot of goblins out there tonight. Uh, goblins is a really good matchup for us. So that or mono red or something like that would probably be probably nice. Uh, no, we don't mulligan. Oh, Jukabog. All right. Uh, perhaps he is uh, some sort of control deck. Well, no, he is some sort of control deck. Uh, whether or not he's mono black or blue black or blue black red uh, remains to be determined. Island. Okay, so we might. This might be the blue black uh, blue black control matchup. Oh, oops, I shouldn't have done that, because I'm going to have to discard. Um, I like all these cards. I'm going to go to the turn more quick. Oh, that's a blowout. Well done, good sir. And then, of course, I still have to discard again. Yeah, he like eight for one me there. Uh, I'll pitch the teachers. <coughs> yeah, that was really good. Uh, not gonna lie. Capsize wins games. Okay, so we've got kind of spell mana up, which is good, seeing as we have two of them in hand. Although, to be fair, it's good he doesn't have capsize anymore, although he did get a huge tempo swing on that play. Is he thinking of casting teachings here? All right. So, um, he's back, he disconnected for a bit. Uh, Sentinels of Glenelendra. I think I have to let that go. But... Yeah, I have to let that go, because he's going to cast Maldrifter next turn. And I need to counter the Maldrifter. Oh, but Jukabog? Okay, well, I guess he's not... That's a hard play to make, because... If I counter that and then he plays a Muldrifter, it's such a blowout because resolving a Muldrifter in this matchup is pretty huge, especially after he got that tempo boost on me. Yeah, that I have a slightly harder time dealing with. Uh, Agon Warp doesn't kill it, so I have to Doomblade it. Hopefully he doesn't have another cap size, although I don't I don't think any decks play multiple cap sizes. It could be alright, but I'm Teachings. He probably has teachings here. Uh, if he does, I think I have to counter it because if he teachings he'll probably get Grim Harvest and wreck me.
Oh, he disconnected again. Uh, as before, I will pause. Alright, so after five minutes or whatever, him disconnecting and reconnecting, he's finally back in the cast mystical teachings, and we already said that I am going to counter that because he could get Grim Harvest and just wreck me. <clears throat> so, he's only got 20 minutes left on his clock, which is always a nice thing. Well, I guess if he's going to take forever, I'll just uh, pause this again. Alright, well, after a bunch of disconnects and uh, random teachings after five minutes, and then more disconnects, and me waiting ten minutes, uh, yeah, our opponent failed to show up. So, we are 3-0. We never lost a game tonight, although, you, like, uh, like I, I kind of hate having this as part of a video, because that means you guys don't get to watch what would have been a really good match, the blue-black mirror. Is a uh, it's a very skill intensive game, and <clears throat> while I don't enjoy playing it, it's uh, it's definitely skill intensive, and it's you know, the the better player almost always wins, either that or the player who resolves more mull drifters. Anyway, uh, so we three out. We got two packs. We get a couple F and M cards, which is pretty awesome for my first uh, premier quote unquote premier event. Um, it's six twenty six right now. There's another one of these at nine p.m. and I, th I think I might as well do that one, so, uh, thanks everyone for, uh, watching, and I will bring you more Popper later. Uh, see you in a bit.